What is up everybody, Gifford here, and today we're gonna to talk about my options trading account and why it's losing to index investing. So getting straight into the video, I'm gonna show you my portfolio breakdown, what's happened so far with my account, what I'm gonna be doing about it, and how can you do options trading from New Zealand if it's something that you're interested in. So in this channel, I'm an investor from New Zealand who invests in the US stock market, and we can see here that I use the platform Interactive Brokers because they are very cheap with their fees and I can have a lot of access here from New Zealand. So here are three screenshots, and on the far left you can see my portfolio balance. It's in US dollars, just to make it easier on everyone. So it's 11,400 as of today right now, and this year, it's year to date, is up 10%. So if you've been following my channel, you know that I've gone a little bit conservative this year. I haven't started doing big gambles in 2023 with my options trading. So I'm still a little bit risky because I am invested in companies, and you can see here, this is my current portfolio. You can see I've got 13 shares in Tesla with an average price of $256. So here are some options here for MPW. These are my protective puts. I'm not gonna go too in depth about each and individual option. I'm just gonna name them, and if you've seen some of my channel, you'll know what I'm talking about. And here I've got MPW $8 calls and that expires on the 22nd of September. And down below that I've got 400 shares of MPW. As we can see the average price is $9.47 and the current price now is about $7.22 and the market is closed at the moment that's why there's a C there. But remembering this does not take into the dividends that I've collected from MPW. And we have a small amount in Interactive Brokers, 3.5 shares. This is basically what I got from the referral. And over here is my USD cash, so that's just under $5,000. And in the far right is a screenshot from a spreadsheet, and what I like to do is I like to keep it simple. So what I'm going for is just trying to get 0.4% every week out of my $3,000 account. But this one here gives you a good breakdown of week one, and I have been trying to get a target on that, but you can see I've had some big losses. So that one here is $849 that week, and when I'm trying to get my weekly target, that's actually minus 28% of the capital that I'm trying to use. So I hope this makes sense. Um, pop down in the comments if you are confused about anything, but basically I'm keeping it, you know, um, so it's understandable to me about how much money I actually make. Sometimes you can see there I'm not making any money during the week and that's because I'm just not trading in any options or I don't think it's a good time to trade. I've had a couple of good wins. Um, that one there's 313. And is there any other ones here as well? This I have 283, but obviously my losses have outgained my wins. So I'm still learning pretty much the options game. Um, you can see here RT is, that's the running total and I'm actually down $491. So that's not that great. But the reason why I'm up 10% is basically because my stock has recovered for the ones that I have bought, mainly um, Tesla in this case. So the main reason I did this video is to show you that options trading has actually been losing money, or I have been losing money, and that we can see here at the bottom that the S&P 500, or SPY, is actually up by 18.48% as of year to date. So with all my options investing, doing trades, all this time consuming stuff, reading charts, understanding what the market is doing, I've still actually lost to the S&P 500 if I just bought $3,000 worth of stock and waited till about now. So this is telling me that I'm not doing a very good job or I just need to learn a little bit more and whether I'm going to continue, I'm not sure yet. I will keep going and do options and just see how I get to at the end of the year. But for 2023, my target was actually to get $25 a week in options consistently. I've failed that, as you can see from my tracking. Um, yeah, so returns have been less than index investing, which is not a very good result at all. But this is why you have to track these kind of things, put a lot of time and effort into it because you've got to know what your target are and if you're actually hitting them index investing just beats everything else over the long term which is what i'm finding out now maybe it's best for me to move all my money into index investing but i think options is a lot of fun i still think i can make money from options um, if i just try a little bit harder and understand a little bit more but obviously it'll be all in the results but we'll see how the rest of the year goes and see how i feel into next year as well so one of the biggest problems i do have with options is that it needs a lot of capital and even though i've got ten thousand us dollars it's not a lot of money in terms of options for the stocks that i want to go in and actually buy um, and just an example of this if you're new to options is that say for example the spy i want to buy um, or i want to trade options in spy each of these is 450 dollars a share and when you trade in options you got to do it on 100 shares so the $450 stock, if I was to do a put option on that, that becomes um, $45,000 US dollars to do one put on it, which means I need to actually have that capital. And at the tail end of this video, I'll just show you the brokerage that I do use, which is Interactive Brokers from New Zealand. So what you're looking at here is how I track my trades. It can get pretty confusing in the app. So what I like to do is have a separate Excel sheet to track my trades in. And this here just tells you when a new month is starting. So this is the end of the month. And then we've got the April then in May and the different colors is just sort of keeping the weeks together and what I'm doing 
Um, I like to do this because then I can sort of see if I'm making money, like if it's positive or negative, because with options you get paid up front, but then it's not only until you close the option whether you have to pay money or you get or you get to keep the money that you made at the very beginning. So it's quite complicated in that way. It has a lot of tracking. And sometimes I just think, is it actually worth all this time? It was great when I was doing quite well, but I'm not doing that well at the moment. So it is a little bit disheartening when the S&P 500 beats it. Basically, if you just put some money in and don't think about the stock market and you're beating what I'm doing here in this options account. But that's the reason why I have many um, portfolios because I want to track different strategies, how they're going, so that when I get a bit more money later on, then I can put it in the correct strategy that I feel will give me the most money. So going now, and you can see that I've been trading in Netflix, Buy, um, MPW, some terrible stocks there, um, AMC, and we can see that the numbers have gotten quite wild see if this is here was closed for a big loss so that's not too good it's just a couple of comments but a lot of these have been closed already but you can see that i've been doing spreads which has caught me out which is kind of a very risky tactic with such a small account but if you're doing options i highly recommend um you have some sort of tracking um i'm not sure if this is something that you're into you could probably go get some better tracking software or paid software or even free ones probably um but this is just the way you do it this is how i understand it but as you can see going into the months it have kind of slowed down on my options trading so this slide here shows you my options portfolio versus the rest of the portfolio now just to be confusing this is in new zealand dollars so if i exchange my interactive brokers from the time that i put the screenshot up it was nineteen thousand three hundred new zealand dollars and at the moment i've hit thirty thousand dollars across my accounts so we can see interactive brokers nineteen thousand dollars my shares these dividends accounts um, i've just recently done a video on that and it's got four thousand eight hundred as of when i did the screenshot i have a shares these private account that has two thousand two hundred i'm not going to talk much about that um, i have a hatch account it's got 1300 new zealand dollars in it my stake and crypto pretty low amounts i haven't really touched that or talk about it on my channel um, i mention it every now and then it's only got 500 dollars and my invest now um, which is sort of index um, i think it's got usf in it i haven't done a video on that um, in a little while but i sort of just keep it in the background that's when i started with and it's got 1900 dollars in it and it gives you thirty thousand dollars and you can see sort of my portfolio split so ibkr options trading account is the majority of that but i will be changing it up so if you are from new zealand and you want to try interactive brokers or a better platform this is a full trading platform this is a more serious platform you do need to have capital and you need to have money behind you with some assets to actually access this this is not as easy as the new zealand platforms they kind of make it look a little bit easy especially shares is sort of beginner friendly interactive brokers is not like that but don't be intimidated because once you learn and understand all this and how to use it it can be pretty beneficial because you then have access to bigger markets um, a lot of stocks from around the world if you want to do that you still have to apply for permissions this is not really something that takes a couple of hours to learn it it takes hours and, and, and days to learn how to use this platform and it's taken me a long time to use it and to get comfortable with it but you can access this um, through New Zealand you just have to go through what I think is a pretty lengthy um, opening account because you have to fill in a lot of details a lot of your financial details and then you also have your IDs to put into there but it's totally safe I have a lot of money in it as you can see um, almost 20,000 and at one point I had 30,000 in there um, when it was going really well but here this is what you do you click the open account and then you start your application so this is just the first page but this video is not about opening an interactive brokers account so feel free to google that and go into it if you have any questions at all and you want to know more about this hit me up on instagram and i can just give you some tips about opening it up from new zealand but it is pretty complicated so you may want to look up a guide of how to do one in new zealand so going forward i'm probably not going to do too many trades unless something presents itself in the stock market i'm also going to remove about two thousand us dollars from my interactive brokers account and put it into my other accounts just to lower a bit so going forward i don't want to have as much money into that portfolio compared to my other portfolios so thank you very much for watching this options portfolio update i also recommend watching my other videos to see what i'm investing in also if you want to hear from me during the week feel free to jump over on instagram and give me a follow there i share posts there of what i'm doing in the market every other day and also some stock market news thanks again for watching and please like the video and feel free to subscribe to join the journey with that said i'll see you next time goodbye